Give yourself time. Give yourself time. And what I mean by that, um, and, and again, we'll use an analogy. When I did photograph a lot of weddings, I used to have long discussions with the bride and groom beforehand. And, say, and I said, well, I can, I've been around a lot of weddings. Mm. I can help you plan your day so that it is the most mm. fun it can be. Mm -hmm. And I used to tell them, the biggest thing that I see wrong with weddings is that they don't allow enough time between things to enjoy your day. Right. I go here, we got to do the hair, we got to right. do the makeup, then we got to be the photographer, and we, we were already right. late there. Take time. So in your sessions, everyone is so strict on, okay, four outfits, we got to be done in one hour because our next one's coming in at 102. I, you know, say 130 instead then or something. Give mm -hmm. yourself a buffer right. enough that if you had... If you want to have a chance to breathe a little bit and enjoy, you can become more creative in that moment. So in order to stop and smell the roses, you need to allocate time to oh, stop. Absolutely. So that you can smell the roses. And record time. Essentially, right? <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Right. So I'm not going to take that same advice because, man, we get working too fast and What too gets hard. in your way? Myself. How so? Like what? when you say we get working, so like what is it, what's the enemy of that? Well, you know, I think because we're adults, we're always, or a lot of times, we're worried that maybe if we work slow, people will think that we're lazy or we won't look professional enough mm. or they're not getting as much out of us. Because I think sometimes, and especially maybe it's me as in my background, as, you know, coaching and things that, you know, if we're not always hustling, you're not giving it your 110%. Um, and maybe that's not true. You know, maybe slowing down is actually giving more. You know, maybe taking that time to, wow, this is so cool that we're here and being a photographer and recording this event for this person hmm. and the things that we're doing for this person. Let's enjoy that for a second. My friend told me the other day that every, every person, like when we ask each other, how are we doing, that he feels pressure to say, I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, right. How many scenes are you, are you, are you, are you guys booked up yet? Yep. Oh yeah. We only have uh, 13 spots left. Yeah, right. We yeah, could like take in a hundred. You know? He feels as though, and a lot of times people will say, how are you doing? Busy? Are you busy? Like right. that'll be like, that'll be all mushed together. And he feels as though he, if he doesn't say yes to the question, are you busy? That there's a failure implied there, or there's a, I'm not doing well implied yeah. there. And I'm he, not being as success, successful. Like success. There's, <clears throat> that, that means, and he, and what he was saying, he was like, I feel as though it should be the other way around. I feel like it should be, how are you doing? Are you busy? Like we should be able to say, no, I'm not busy. And that the person should be like, good for you. Like that you're doing well, Enough. right? Yeah. And that you're not busy. Hey guys, thanks for watching this conversation presented by White House Custom Color on YouTube. Be sure to check out our other content and click that subscribe button right there. Right. <laughs> right there. It's there somewhere. <laughs>